Here we have a typical uh, trig exam question. So let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this one. The trick of dealing this type problem is this. You have to realize cosine inverse treated as a verb. Cosine inverse takes a number and spit out an angle for you, much the same way as cosine of an angle gives you a number. Having this one completely formally planted in your head would help solve this problem because now coming back over here you can see cosine of this inverse this entire thing is just an angle and then we're asking sine of this angle so that answer is going to come out to be a number and since it's cosine inverse of three over four so basically we're saying cosine of a what angle would give you three over four over here well if we were to draw a triangle over here cosine is adjacent over the hypotenuse and cosine of theta here would give you 3 over 4. And what's this theta then? Well, we don't really care what this theta is because we're asked to find a sine of this theta, which is also a number. And in order to find a sine of this theta, since we don't know what theta is, but we can find a sine of a theta, which is relatively easy using a Pythagorean theorem because the hypotenuse square minus the adjacent square gives the radical 7, and sine is defined by opposite over hypotenuse. So here's the answer. Now let's solve this one then. All right, so here's the solution. Let angle be such that cosine of theta equal to 3 over 4. This I read from the cosine inverse of 3 over 4 is an angle. So you flip this one around and you have cosine theta equal to 3 over 4. You want to do this because there, here's the angle, uh, triangle, we can find out what the opposite side is, which is radical 7 for this problem. We do not need to know what the theta angle is in degrees or radians or any other measurement because we're asked to find a sine of this theta. Uh, sine of theta is uh, um, opposite over hypotenuse and that's radical over 7 over 4. Okay, so that's how you solve this type of problem. I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.